Greetings, comrades. This is Andre Aguilas de Jardin for a Bloomberg Cracker Pack. I guess we're doing a draft tonight. So let's use the Cracker Packs to help do the format. Got a fish token. Excellent. Fish, fish. Excellent. So first up, we have Saver. One black one cost instant target creature gets minus two minus two until end of turn create a food token. Um very high pick. Black's one of the better colors. Uh in fact this kills a creature makes this is gonna kill so many creatures in the format and makes a food super high pick. Probably B minus card. Like I would actually cause like this is one of the better commons. Like I would really consider this first picking this. Um Alright. Hidden Grotto. Here's a card I wouldn't f consider. When it enters Surveil 1, tap for a colorless, and you can filter, so one mana tap, add one mana of any color. Splashing's not super great in this format. The Surveil's not irrelevant, but I don't, I don't, I want good mana, and this isn't good mana. Um, spending two mana to fix your colors, because it's this and then another land, is not what I want to do in this format. Not looking to pe play that. All right. Dazzling Denial is one blue, one colorless, instant, counter target spell unless controller pays two. If you control a bird, counter unless they pay four instead. Um, blue still isn't that high in the format. Like, people have figured out to draft some of the blue decks, but it's still not a high win rate. I don't want to start in blue, and even in blue decks, this is just fine. Like, the two mana counter spell unless they pay two are fine, but, uh, this is way below Saver. Like, I don't want to start blue. This is just a worse card than Saver. This is like a D. Like, i play it if I had to, but I wouldn't be stoked on it. All right. Frilled Sharp sh sh Sparks Shooter. A one red, three colorless for a Lizard Archer. Manasse and Reach. And it enters with a plus one, plus one counter for opponent lost life this turn. Um, this is fine. This is like a C in the red black lizard decks or the more red aggro decks like you'll play it um if you can't make it a 4-4 four four, though it's kind of lame though 3-3 three three minus reach is still fine but you really want the 4-4 four four here um but it's, see it's very interchangeable with any four drop uh druid of the spade one green two colorless for a two three rabbit druid as long as you control a token druid of the spade gets plus two plus zero and has trample uh, that's actually highly relevant. I've won a lot of games off Druid of the Spade and then the Green Duo. I think it's Treetop Duo that gives your creature plus X plus X or X the number of creatures you control. I have actually won a lot of games with Druid of the Spade just becoming like a 12-something trample and just getting there. Um, and green is the best color by the numbers and by what everyone, like all the content creators are saying. But I'm still not taking this over Saver. Uh, though, don't sleep on this card. It's a very good card. You do want a token, though. All right. Tempest Augur. Uh, one colorless and then two blue-red hybrid. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on Tempest Augur. Um, back in Strixhaven, when this was blue-green, it was one of my favorite cards. Uh, this is meh. Um, unlike in Strixhaven, there's not a lot of spells that make creatures, which is what you really want for this. Red blue is one of the weaker colors. Um, there's nothing like Oct that just helps this grow really cheaply and it's understated. This is like a D. I'm not looking to play this. If you're in the red blue deck, you can play it, but no thank you. I'd rather not go there. All right, War Squeak. Uh, one red enchantment or enchant creature. When Anders target creature and opponent controls can't block this turn, enchant creature is plus one plus one and has haste. So I think this is a upgraded hammer hand. This card is clearly just for the uh, red, white, uh, not heroic, valorous, whatever, whatever it is, the target them once a turn deck. Um, and even then and there, it's like a D. Uh, yeah, so we're not picking this card. And if you put this in other red decks, it is a disaster. All right, uncommon, Ed Merc Crab. Uh, two blue, five colorless for a flash element. Or an element crab. It has flash. Costs one less gas for each instant sorcerer card in your graveyard. And there's tap. It's not your turn. And when airs tap up to two target creatures, this is very good in seal, but in draft is very meh. The spells deck don't come. Like none of these cards come close to saber to me. 
this is probably like a D. Like, I, I wouldn't be happy if this card was in my deck. Or my deck would be very disgusting. One of the two. But I'm still on Saber Easy. Ooh, we have a Contender. Overprotect. Uh, one green, one colorless. Instant target creature control gets plus three, plus three. Gains trample, hexproof, and indestructible until end of turn. Uh, this is a beating. Uh, like it has the normal two mana to save your creature from a kill spell. Uh, but you are winning combat and getting through for damage with this card. It also has some of my favorite flavor attacks. Blot's defenses are impervious. Blore, the impervious. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm considering this. I'm going to look at this with Saver. It's probably a B plus or B, sorry. Not B plus, but it's a B. I'm happy to be in green. All right, Parting Gust. Uh, two white, instant. Gift, create a tap fish. Exile target non-token creature. If the gift wasn't promised during that creature to the battlefield under its owner's control with a plus one, plus one count at the beginning of the next end step. So it's a mobile card. It's otherworldly journey. Without the gift to have fish, and if you give them a fish, you it's a removal spell. Um, I love me otherworldly journey. I was playing otherworldly journey when it was in standard. Uh, not a super fantastic magic card, and the double white on this makes it less good. Um, like it's fine it's like a C like I would play it if I was in white but the fact you have to give them a 1-1 one, one if to kill their creature isn't super great um, there's a lot of smaller creatures around which makes this worst and 2 white really does hurt it the fact it's 2 white to cast means there's your man is hard to actually cast this so this is like C, C- minus. definitely not as good as overprotect or saver Bow and Beam Paris to play. All right. Paris Recycling. One green, one colorless. Instant gift a card. Uh, return target permit card from a graveyard to your hand. If the gift was promised, that return two of them. Uh, this is actually a very strong card. Um, especially in green-black decks with the mill, but it's just good in any decks. The reason is it's like draw two relevant bodies to the board. Um... That being said, I would like in a deck that's a bit more grindy or has some self mail. Um, and I'm not taking over Overprotect. Overprotect is just the better card. Um, but to talk about why you'd want to gift them a card for this, uh, yes, you may gift them and they might draw their big expensive bomb or whatever, but one, you might be getting your bomb and something else from the graveyard. But two, even in the average case scenario of you're just getting two cards, two creatures from your graveyard at your end step, you know, a third of the time they're going to draw land. So it's like you are guaranteed getting some spells. And the fact this is instant, so you can do it at end of turn, untap and deploy your threats first, make this very good. Um, of course, if you have a bomb, this bumps up. But I almost always need lots of permanents and want to get both of them back. This is probably a C plus. I am happy to play this card, but I don't think it's as good as Overprotect or Saver. All right. Camila the Seed Master. Uh, one black, one green, one colorless. A 3-3 three, three. Manasse. Other squirrels you control have Manasse. Whenever you sacrifice one or more food, create a 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature token. And Forage. Um, this is, I mean, obviously this is a very good squirrel card. B plus. Um, is it worth taking over Saver and Overprotect? Maybe. I'll consider it. I'm not honestly sure. Um... Okay, ooh, Shiny Mountain, and Fitch Formation, definitely not a tank. Fitch Formation, it's blue, two colorless, with Offspring free, it's 2-2 two, two flying, and when it enters, target creature control gains flying until end of turn, so it can give two of your creatures flying. This is like, again, blue's not the greatest. This is like D. Um, you can play it if you're in blue. I don't think you'll ever actually do the Offspring. I mean, you will, but I don't know if it's... If I'm paying five mana for that, sorry. Six mana for that, I'm not a happy man. All right, so it's between these three. Um, I mean, I'm going to take Seed Master because I think it's fun. The Black White Squirrels deck is definitely one of the better decks. Uh, I'm sure the Saver's not going to take, the Overtech's not going to up table. Maybe the Perilous Recycling is going to table. Um, then I'm trying to take every card's worth Squirrels. 
you might be correct just taking the over protect and like a GP or a draft where it matters or something uh, but for FNM I would just try and make the fun squirrels deck uh, but you do need the squirrel like you do need lots of squirrels to make this work all right everybody that was Andre Egedes de Jardin thank you and have a good day